I'm here with uh, Ted Shatler from Forrester Research to talk about digital disruption. So thank you very much for joining me, Ted. Oh, it's my pleasure. It's great to be here. Thank you, Soren. And so digital disruption for Forrester, for me, really says, how does technology change, sometimes radically change, the way we do things, the way we build things, the way we operate. And, and the key point for digital disruption is we're using digital technologies like uh, cloud computing and, and mobile devices and mobile apps, um, analytics and big data and how do we get value out of that and, and sometimes social and collaboration, certainly software underlies all of these digital technologies. And then the disruptive part is pretty simple. It says that if I've got all this new technology, this capability to do things, I can do old things in new ways. And that's, that's interesting. I mean, it can be very interesting, actually. But I can also, if I internalize the technology and what it can do for me, then I can actually do new things. And doing new things, that's really where digital disruption hits its stride, where things can get very interesting or sometimes even a little scary. And so digital disruption for us is really both of those things. The way I've been thinking about it here is that we've got uh, three opportunities, three places where digital disruption can really improve things for customers. Uh, the first is in service delivery. And I think we'll drill down into that in a few minutes here, but service delivery means how do I use digital technologies like, like mobile enablement, for example, to make sure that a field service person has exactly what they need in that moment they're trying to fix something or repair something or maintain something or install something. So that first, the first is how do I improve service delivery? The second, and we're getting a little more into some of the other digital technologies here, is how do I automate a service? Can I remotely manage or deliver a service using software, using connectivity, using uh, not mobile in this case, but connected products? Uh, perhaps analytics help me do that to automatically signal a problem or, or, or an alert of some kind. So how do I use digital technology to, to automate service? And then the last, and the one that's probably over the, the longer period of time, is how do I improve the products themselves? How do I turn sort of disconnected offline products into smart connected products? How do I allow service automation to be uh, delivered and, and improved on further by actually putting control and the ability to control through software into the products themselves? And that takes longer to do, and the, um, the, 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 the rollout and the, the replacement cycle is much uh, slower for products. But that's a third place where digital disruption can have, a, I think, a big effect on, on how you do business. It might be useful to, to break things down a, a, in a little more detail because the, the, the how you get it done will vary based on, on what we're talking about. So service uh, delivery and improving that, that's very much about mobile enablement. And if I could use an example here to, to describe it, the, and, uh, I think a particularly interesting example comes from the consumer market and they uh, install satellites on people's homes and uh, uh, getting that right, getting that, that service implemented and delivered first time right is, is, is a challenge. They can uh, have found they can improve service delivery by giving field techs these small tablet computers um, that they fit into a, a pants pocket. They have a cargo pants uh, a pocket they fit into and then all of the information they need to configure uh, the set-top box to install the product to handle a tough um, sighting problem they can do through that mobile device. So they can point the, um, uh, the, the, the camera of the device to the sky to find the satellite to do the alignment. And what's important there is they give people uh, the information in their immediate context. They know which customer's mm -hmm. house they're standing in front of so they can pull up the right information automatically. Um, they can also do things like take a signature uh, and close the work out and initiate service um, immediately and directly using the, the mobile device. So that's just an example of really uh, mobile enabling, digitally enabling somebody to be more productive and effective and efficient when delivering service. Uh, when you think about service automation, that's a place where uh, having a, a product that you, uh, that's connected so you can um, automatically uh, uh, manage that, that service remotely um, uh, with a dashboard, for example, um, th this is a place where we're seeing some really interesting digital disruption. Um, for example, in, in Europe, this is a little bit, we didn't talk so much about this this morning, but in Europe, there's a big effort underway to give uh, diabetic patients 
for example, a glucometer, a glucose meter to measure blood sugar uh, that's automatically linked in to the, uh, the healthcare provider so that the patient's um, uh, blood sugar can be tracked over time. That's about service mm. automation. Mm. And then lastly, around um, products and connected products, I think this is a place where we're starting to see some very interesting new models um, here. And so if we can uh, build a smart product as opposed to a dumb product, one that's connected in, uh, then you can provision new kinds of capability and deliver new kinds of services to maybe, for example, connect um, a control plane for the power system to the other power systems inside the company. And maybe there's an end-to-end -end view of power consumption inside a facility that, that you can really step up and own and provision and manage um, through this, this technique. And so that's kind of a third, a third place here. Very good. Yeah, and then as far as organizing, I think that's really uh, the place to think differently. Mm. Um, very traditionally, um, companies organize into their um, domains of competencies. So there might be hardware um, designers, hardware manufacturing um, uh, people, there, there are software people, there, there may be um, uh, people that understand about service delivery, um, and those people don't necessarily work together very very frequently or, or very effectively. And so a lot of the change here coming from digital disruption comes from the way people organize to think differently. And so, for example, um, if a person understands about the information that a, that a technician needs, a uh, service uh, a person needs, they, 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 they can actually understand how to apply that by riding around uh, in a truck and going on job sites and seeing where the problems are. Right? Oh, uh, when the software person and the, and the service uh, delivery person are sitting together, they're going to find new solutions that take advantage of digital technology. So that kind of co-location and really working together to break down any of the boundaries that exist between different groups can have a huge, huge payoff in relevance, in delivering in-context service, in solving problems at those immediate moments of need. And uh, the only way to do that is to operate in these small teams where people work together across these boundaries. So those are some things to think about. And then the last thing maybe I'll close with uh, is thinking about what the impact on the customer is. And here's a place where um, having a deep understanding of what customers do today and how you serve them today and what you think they want to do, because you're asking them, uh, will give you a much clearer roadmap and guideline and, and prioritization of the kinds of digital enablement and digital disruption that you tackle. So think always about how it's delivered and then think about how the customer will experience it and how they'll benefit from it. And that will help you really focus in on the essential things first, first things first, and then other things over time as you get smarter about what those digital disruption opportunities really are. So these were some excellent uh, words. Thank you very much for sharing them with us. And uh, I can't wait to get started. Thank Great. you for coming. Thank you, Saren. All right, cheers.